Hi guys, so today we'll start part one of the reveals for the All Is Calm, All Is Bright insert card or card insert swap. I didn't really know how to name it because essentially what we're doing is putting together some inserts that when you receive yours back, I'll show you how to make like a little flow book that looks kind of like the Anna Griffin um, memory booklet or whatever it was that she had called it, um, which I'm looking at it over there. I should have brought it here to show you guys again. But either way, we're going to we're going to accordion these guys together and have a fun flow book. And a flow book is generally something where you just have like some fun inspirational things. There might be ephemera, it might be pretty papers, might be some lace, whatever it is that you shove in there yourself and then later you come back and you know, something that you go to to draw inspiration from, pull things out of, use them. Uh, maybe you paint it in there. Kind of like a junk journal, but not really. And then you can buy flow books already, you know, ready to go. Uh, generally at art places are like Barnes and Noble and things like that, but those are like book books. They're like bound, you know. Um, so this is something a little bit different. So this is my entry. Um, I have them here. I haven't closed them up just yet. Uh, because I just do, generally do that before I send them off, but, uh, or swap them out. I did put a little sticker on the back that just says created, curated for you by VNA Creates. So I'll talk about the, um, rules real quick again. You're supposed to send in four. They, um, should not have any decoration, anything else. Again, even the packaging, I asked you guys not to put anything I said we're not putting bows on it we're not putting ribbons or twine or like anything we're not decorating it because the whole thing is to keep it less th a quarter inch or less thickness now that means your folder but if you also added something on top well that's gonna make more thickness right the whole thing is that the four envelopes or um, not envelopes sorry inserts should fit in the small flat rate package when I send them back out to your swap partners so what happens is and this is why I'm such a stickler for is that sometimes people send in things that are like already half an inch an inch thick <laughs> half an inch, you know, twice as thick. And then when you put them in the box, and you guys probably notice when you package yours up to send them in, they sit really nicely. They're about an inch. Now, if someone has a half inch one, it starts impressing and impeding on the other ones, and the other ones get bent. So when the person receives their swap back, it's bent, and it doesn't look nice. It's really hard to unbend paper. I beg you guys, please don't do that. So as I was kind of opening things up, you know, to get them ready for the swap, I didn't notice a lot of them being chubby, but I did notice a lot of them having extra decoration. And I'm like, oh, I said I would not swap them out if they had that extra decoration or the thickness or these kind of issues, right? So we will see, you know, um, yours, and I already mentioned this, I don't have the heart to not swap people out. So what happens is I'll just pull your name out and I'll swap you guys together, the people who broke rules. Um, and you know, so we'll go from there. quick at the top of the video, I always like to talk about the rules again and then what was um, expected. And then we go and we see the swap and you guys have already seen mine. I mean, you guys pretty much were here with me step by step when I created it. There's a couple things that, um, uh, I did add, and so I'll, I'll go through that right now. Sorry. So yeah, so um, the reason I'm mentioning that about the thickness and like extra stuff is because that's just extra stuff. You guys know I had to put a little cute um, paper clip, but by the time I got my little guy plus his little um, train that goes with him, it just made it thicker and I was like, you know what, ditch the paper clip. So, because those things are extra, the things that we needed were one and only one embellishment right and you can decorate a little bit as long as it didn't get too thick right we're not putting rosettes like i said we're not putting super thick paper clips i had mentioned i had made this cute one i don't know where it is uh from the we are memory keepers you know or just a paper like a thin paper clip i know there's shaped paper clips that are thin great I basically ask you not to put clippies like the kind that are made out of wood or thick pieces that are on the paper clip, right? Just a thin metal paper clip is what I was asking if you're even going to do that, right? Because I know sometimes people might want to clip a little something or just put it as a decoration. Um, so uh, again, no extra decorating as far as anything that's going to add super thickness or thickness. Um, so the one embellishment item that has to be relatively thin. So again, your whole swap, your insert is not thicker than a quarter inch. And um, you know, we went from there. So I had made a little topper for mine and I had these little pearls, half pearls that coordinate with my paper pack. It was just kind of a soft Christmas feel. And so that's what I did for these guys. Again, one large pocket, two small pockets or two smaller pockets. Obviously mine are different sizes, but they are smaller than the large one because in the small pocket, one of them, we were supposed to have five labels. And what I meant by labels, and I explained this uh, really, I think a lot <laughs> in all the videos, was light colors. And so that's kind of why I paired mine up with a white piece plus like a pattern piece. Labels, not tags. Okay, I did say tag shape is okay. Um, I feel like 
I saw some tags that were just tags in there and I'm like, mm, that's not what I had said. Uh, they're supposed to be labels so that the person can then just stamp on them real easily. So again, the paper needs to be stampable, not shiny stuff or these other things where you have to have like specialty inks to stamp them or too dark where you can't stamp them or already done, right? So blank labels. And the reason I use this one, this is a little tag, but again, it's a label, you know, and then like this little guy, you can also just put a sentiment on. So five of those and those were at least, but of course you're not going to try to pile in like 20 and make a big huge thick uh, thing. So at least five is the, um, the guideline stampable labels, one <laughs> embellishment item, whatever that is to you, but it has to be relatively thin, right? To uh, fit in here. And then five larger die cuts. So, um, you know, I did bigger pieces. I'm sure people did some background pieces and that'd be lovely. I, you know, I just use my Cricut this time around, which is different for me. I usually use dies. So I could do whatever it is I wanted on the Cricut, right? Sizing and things. So this is what I came up with. You guys have already seen most of them, but um, probably not this little guy. I was going to do a little bear with a coffee mug. And again, it was just too much thickness. So for me, it's like, okay, I did my five, maybe six or seven, depending on how you count these. Uh, but no, no more, you know? So we do have to make choices guys that's what happens gotta make the choices so i have my little elf he is so cute he's probably from like the what do they call the little build those person kind of things create a kid i can't remember what they were called back in the day i've had this uh cricket um cartridge for i mean it was probably one of the first ones we've gotten uh so we have this little guy he had his little train with him like on the same cut file um or design so i thought it was cute so i kept it that way especially because i put the little trains on here so we have our little elf with his little train that he just made we have um one of these little guys i had created a whole video on it looks like a little figgy pudding like ornament but you can also put like a lint or a ferro rocher in there so I included that because I think it's really fun. This shaker was a nightmare, you guys. So <laughs> I did do this one, I think, for the video, but the words just kept cutting like, oh my gosh, it was such a pain. So actually what I did for the other ones is I just took a circle die and I cut out that Merry Christmas because it was like ridiculous looking. Um, so I just cut it away. And so then it's just going to be an ornament that's like this, right? With the acetate on there. So you can make it a shaker if you would like. But I did cut away the Merry Christmas on the other ones. So just so you know, if you receive one of my swaps, the other ones don't have the words. Because it was just, I don't know how this first one got done. But the rest of it, I cut it several times. And they all were like a disaster. I didn't want to make it any bigger. So um, that's what I came up with. So I did cut away the Merry Christmas on the other ones. So you can see the little fall -la, la or the pattern in the background, which is just as cute, I think. I have this beautiful, intricate uh, tree, very icy and pretty. And then I have my Merry and Bright. So, and it is bright around this one. So big sentiment. So again, at least five. And as you can see, I mean, depending on how you count these guys, I do have five, maybe six, seven actual pieces, right? Um, and then they fit in here nicely without making too much bulk. And so again, that's what we're looking for. At the very end of all these parts, or there are probably gonna be three parts, um, you know, I. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I wrote down the names. I wasn't really paying attention when I counted them a couple days ago to see like how many I'm still waiting for. Um, 75. 75 people had signed up and I was like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? So that's awesome though, because honestly, it's very easy to go through these and I think this is a good swap for like large numbers. Um, some people did drop it, but either way, I'm probably going to have about three reveals. And if you guys know right now, this is a live premiere. I am kind of falling in love with the whole filming ahead of time, even though it's twice the work, because honestly, I have to like go through it all, edit it, upload it, and then go ahead and sit and chat with you guys, right? Which is the fun part. But um, I usually do a live video where I just do them at the same time we're talking and stuff. But I always miss the chat because like I'm literally focusing on what's going on here. I don't answer the questions. I can't. It's just it's it's totally different. So honestly, Honestly, I really like pre-recording them and then just having that live chat. And then a lot of times I'm already swapping them out before you guys are watching the live chat, you know, because it just depends on how I was able to um, get everything going and edited. So uh, it's really fun because then you're like, oh, I got it the next day, you know. <laughs> so uh, which happened in the live ones before, too. But uh, this makes it a lot easier for me. Uh, so I, I'm really liking it. But at the very end, if you don't hear your name, it's because something happened either, you know, it could be something about the uh, embellishments. You're supposed to use include one embellishment, like one kind of thing. Um, if you include more than that and it's like super thick or whatever, or just include more of that, because that's what I asked you guys. The reason I have these rules is for thickness. It's for fairness. It's for people not feeling bad when they see it later. They're like, oh, she sent 10 things, but you said one. 
it's supposed to be one, okay? I don't really go for the overloaded, you know, especially with this. The tags need to be five at least and stampable. Again, that's why I did a whole tutorial on them because it's very easy, but at the same time, I needed people to understand what I was getting at. And then five die cuts that are larger, five larger die cuts, whatever it is that you want, right, from your stash. Like, I think that's pretty easy, layered up, not layered, whatever, just not super thick. So when you put it all together, it's less than a quarter inch thickness, and I know it's hard to see right now, but... We did a pretty good job. Um, so, again, if you don't hear your name, don't fret. I'm still going to swap you out with other rule breakers, which I said I wasn't going to do, but here we are. I'm going to do it because I don't have the heart to just send you back your swap not being swapped. It just, you know, I know it took a lot of work for you guys to put them together. You put everything in it, and I appreciate it, and it's just, you know, how that goes. But, uh, so don't feel bad, and you know me, I just go through the swaps, I'm not going to say, oh, this is this, and this is that, oh, I can't believe, you know, <laughs> I would never do something like that. So thank you guys, there's a lot of newcomers, and thanks for, you know, taking the plunge, jumping in, and trying it out. Um, I just think it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, I'm really, really, like, I think this is just going to be so much fun, oh my gosh. So, without further ado, uh, let's get to it. Okay guys, so let's get going. So the first one I have here is from Ms. Rocknikowski. I'm gonna pronounce it that way. And I think it's Jennifer, let's check. Um, from Morris, Illinois. And these are her swaps. And again, I know they're gonna look very plain from the outside because of what I asked for you guys to do. But she has them tucked away in a really nice envelope here or pocket. And let's open these guys up. So thanks for joining us and again, I was just uh, taking a quick pause because I was like, no, it's not Jennifer, because I have other Jennifers. Jeanette. Jeanette Rocknikowski. So look how cute. Again, you know, we have the thing. We're going to layer them together or um, accordion them together, I suppose. But look how sweet. I love this uh, paper. Very Anna Griffin, I believe. Her pockets are adorable. Oh, my goodness. You guys off to a rocky start. <laughs> I have a gardener that comes by and he'll see like my palms are overgrown and then wants to do whatever and I just don't want to deal with that right now so anyway all right so on this side she has her large die cuts her um, embellishment gift and then here are her labels how cute is this you guys oh my goodness so her gift is a little sweet um, shaker mix how cute is that I love the holographic red squares there's green stars in there there's like little peppermint femos um, maybe some white discs as you can see there and then the little um, snow flakes. That is so sweet. No, it's packaged so nicely too and it just fits right in there. I love the way she decorated her pockets. Again with that beautiful Anna Griffin paper. And here are her, um, oh I love that little envelope pocket. Um, her label dies, so she has a, I think these are stuck together, yes, so I, was, I think this is uh, one piece there, so it has the little um, tag shape, look at these little guys again, exactly what I was asking, just leave them um, nice light colors, people can actually stamp on them and all that, how beautiful, look at this, gorgeous, love it. So those are her labels, and then over here she has her uh, die cuts, and they're just packaged so nicely. Look at this layered up guy, oh my goodness, and again, making four of them, I super appreciate the work that went into that. Oh, I love how nice and neat she paced the little circle in the back. <laughs> Whenever I do that, like my spellbinders die, I'm just like, whatever rough square I cut out. Really cute, she has the word joy here with um, the extra like glitter pieces that can fill in the word, the letters for joy. Oh, look at this. That's a gorgeous die. Really cool shape. And then she included um, poinsettias. Uh, this is, Jeanette, thank you. This is exactly what I was like thinking about. I mean, this is above and beyond because like you have your little flowers, now you can layer them up and you know, you have your cute little um, vignette as, as you will. Oh my gosh. And then this one, she has a background uh, doily, kind of like a die or um, scalloped oval, I suppose. And then the little deer, and then she included the eyelashes in their own little bag there so that um, you would have them to play with also. Oh my goodness. And look at this gorgeousness. So it's like a frame plus like this inner piece that also has the, um, um, ornament that is, I think it's cut away, you can kind of tell that it's cut out, and then she included a little um, delicate snowflake to go with that. This is awesome, oh my gosh, thank you so much, and again, oh, these are going to look so fun when we put these together, you guys, my goodness, thanks for joining us, I believe it's her first time with us, and this was excellent, thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to put this right back in the box. I was going to say, I'm going to pause, but you know it's funny that I knew this was not going to be super difficult to... Um, show y'all so we'll go to the next one Karen Mazurik out of Langhorne Pennsylvania and this is what she sent so let me open it up on top it has a really thick card <laughs> 
Oh, Karen, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, look at that. With the little old school lady from like the Anna Griffin stuff. You're always ready for Christmas if, you dec if your decorations never come down. <laughs> this is true. We even sold our house in Fresno with the lights still on it because we never took them down. <laughs> that was a long time ago, you guys. Merry Christmas, thanks for all you do. Thank you, Karen. Oh, how cute, and she included some little charms. Thank you so much, and her postage is there. So I'll put this back in here so I always recall. Um, to get that postage. So these are hers and she did put a little label on there with her name. So Karen Missouri. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So let's open this guy up. Ah. So really lovely paper and let's open it up. Again our large pocket or two small ones. Oh my goodness so she included a whole bling from Jolie's Boutique that are pink and like silver or clear. You know with clear ones actually maybe they might be light pink. I think they're just the lightest pink. Um, and different sizes they're really pretty you can color them with alcohol ink markers and then you can have any color you want you know of um, rhinestone which is really nice. I love the um, the uh, punching or die cutting it might have been a border die on the edges there. And then these are her um, uh, labels. And so she has this one already stamped with joy, a to and from tag, uh, believe. We have this tag with a little stag on there. And then this one here that has that open center. Really, really cute. I love the little wreaths all lined up on there. Adorable. And on this side, she has her large die cuts. And ooh, they're so pretty. And usually I don't want to mess with things like this too much, but they are in a glassine bag, so I kind of have to open it up. So I'll just do my best, and maybe I'll take a pause after this one, depending on how it goes. So she's a little pine cone, beautiful poinsettia. Ooh, I love the embossed paper, like in the middle of there of the layered up poinsettia she created. Oh, hold on. No, oh, no, it's stuck down. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Mary and Bright with that diamond press um, auto ship that's really, really sweet and gorgeous. I love that auto ship. It was so much fun. So Mary and Bright works out real well with All is Calm, All is Bright. Merry Christmas. Layered up die cut. And then look at this tree. Oh my gosh, so delicate and gorgeous. And then look at this. Oh my goodness. That's lovely because it does cut the scallop, I'm assuming, because it, the embossing on it is perfectly going with that scallop. So it's one thing that did all that. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm going to take a moment to package this back up and I'll be right back. This next one is from Mayanne de Belen at a Pismo Beach. And I believe it's her first time swapping with us also. Let me open this up. I thought I opened it, but you know what? It's still stuck down <laughs> on the very side. Sorry, guys. Um, oh, there goes my glue and everything else. All right, let's put that there. So thank you so much for, uh, you know, taking the chance. I know some people, it takes them a while to, like, jump in. A little nervous, but I tell you, it's really fun. So I should put it on the back, handmade by May Ann. And this is all is calm, all is bright. And this one has my name on it, so I will open this guy up. I love that really just simple, flat, you know, uh, label there. Very pretty. And this one is for me. So I'll put that to the side. There's postage in there with a little note. Oh, it's a little label that it says all is calm, all is bright. That's so nice. Thank you. And look at this beautiful paper. So sweet. I love the green with the punching. Really, really, um, looks really nice with that background and look how cute so she has some red rhinestones all packaged up really cute with that little topper adorable you guys thank you so much um let's see here oh this is my first one for me thank you um and then we have look at how cute again the little area so you can stamp how gorgeous thank you so much um you know we have the glitter background but then the stampable top piece you know and look at this oh gosh and the little tags for your labels those are lovely, lovely colors too. Unexpected and just so pretty. Thank you so much. Those are so cute. You guys, what a fun swap. I really, I'm honestly just going through it. I'm like, it kind of goes a little quickly, but it's, you know, going to be really fun when we put them all together when you get yours home and then you have all these different things to look at and kind of pick through what you want to do with your flow book. I love it. And uh, I'm going to bring these guys out. So thank you so much, man. Oh my gosh. Okay. So well, actually, well, let's start from the back. <laughs> So this is gorgeous glitter paper. Look how delicate that is. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Ready to go. Look at the birch trees. I always, they're birch, right? I love this kind of thing. Um, 
which is lovely. I love birch trees when you peel that white, like the <laughs> uh, bark, I guess, skin. I don't even know what it is off. It's so cool. Uh, Christmas wishes. And she has, I think, Mary back there. Christmas. I love it. Those diamond press dies. Super delicate and intricate. Look at the tree. Oh my gosh, this is a spellbinder's tree. And then she included the little dies, um, like bits to go with it. So your little. Um, uh, decorations yeah, like these little tongue tied. Red. So she has little red glitter dots there with that gold um, embossed star. I mean, this is so cute. This is exactly the kind of thing I had in mind. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I was just saying, um, is that a mustache? Or that? Maybe it's wings, but it looks like a Santa mustache. But I would say, I guess, wings too. However, you want to play that one up. And then we have like this cute little um, piece. It looks like a little uh, hat, but it's the. Um, uh, shaker and she even included the acetate for it. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. How cute. Oh my gosh Thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking a chance. I think this is a really fun one for a lot of people to get in and um, Yeah, this is I'm just so happy already. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. One from Barbara Hakim out of El Paso, Texas. Oh, and I mentioned Pismo is one of my favorite areas also of California. I think there's a lot of <laughs> my favorite areas of California. So Mayan was from Pismo uh, Beach. Um, yeah, so out of El Paso. And I believe it's Barbara's first time with us also. You guys, a lot of newcomers, which is really great. Beautiful card. And she has a label filled out already. And there's her um, postage. <laughs> Oh, she says, you have to trust me. I gave it my best, even though it doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm, come on, <laughs> Barbara, thank you. You guys are so funny. Um, oh, I was going to say, I was going to take this off, but I think, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, well, let's get this. We'll just open this one, this one. So those are her swaps there. And let's open this guy up. So, Sorry, I'm just trying to open it, but I don't want to mess anything up. There we go. Oh, see, I'm already pulling it apart over here. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. All right. And there's a little info uh, on the back for her swap people. And then this is her swap, so we'll open it up. Just lovely. I love that paper in the background. Very Christmas. Beautiful. Oh, I love the um, inlaid uh, snowflakes. They're snowflakes, but it's more like that quilted pattern. I don't know if you can see it. You can probably, that's the white part that you see <laughs> is the quilted pattern there. So she has her large pocket, her two pockets. And so in here, I don't know if I should pull this whole thing up. Okay. That is very cute. It looks like gifts, you know, with the tissue paper. Oh my gosh. So she, here she included a, Excuse me. Uh, so here she included a wood veneer Santa and then some um, uh, twine, Baker's twine in red and white, green and white on a little board. That is so cute. What a cute way to present it. I am, this is adorable. <laughs> I love that. So I can pop that right back in there, nice and careful. And then up here, these are her um, label dies or label yeah, die cuts. So here she has that gorgeous um, gold background, that white front, so you can stamp on there. Really cute, the tag shape, again, with that layer so that you can stamp. And then here too, oh my gosh, these are lovely. Thank you so much, oh my gosh, Barbara. Look at this one, just gorgeous. And this little guy. And this one just has its own thing already, it just says warm holiday wishes. Just lovely. And let's tuck this back. And then these are her uh, die cuts, her large die cuts. That is so cute. I love that idea, the little kind of helping you bring them out with the gift. It looks like a gift, you know, so lovely. So on this one, she has like a tag kind of thing going on because it has a little tag bit and then it says season's greetings on a beautiful ornament. That is so pretty. Oh, a beautiful nativity. I believe this is an Anna Griffin one. Oh, sorry guys, if I was out of frame, I hope not. The little stocking that's all uh, layered up and on the back it has like a gift pocket. That is so cool, you guys. You can just grab that real quick if you <laughs> have a last minute gift card gift or cash gift. That is so cute. Embossing and piecing, just lovely. The word joy. Oh, this gorgeous one. I'm telling you, I need to bring this out from Anna Griffin. Every year I say that. I've had this one for a minute. <laughs> I keep forgetting to use it. It's gorgeous, the bells. And then look at this pocket with the little uh, berries on there. So cute. Wow, Barbara, thank you so much. I'm going to package this back up and I'll be Sharon right back. Pat Noti out of Ocala, Florida. And I can say that off the top of my mind because Sharon has been swapping with us for a minute. So I always recall that she's from Ocala, Florida. Um, and then she put her postage here. And these are her pockets or her um, inserts. <laughs> See, I need to remember what they're called. Really pretty papers on the outside. So we'll put this to the side just so the glare doesn't take away too much. And let's check out Sharon's insert. 
so pretty really just um, classic like Christmas feel very vintage feel look at these pockets just gorgeous the larger pocket and the two smaller ones and then this is her embellishment gift the cute little stickers the little puff stickers these are adorable oh my gosh how cute are those the little it looks more Starbucksy that one how adorable thank you and then here she has her um, five stampable tags here or labels so this one's a little tag shape with that little area that you can stamp on oh I love this one it's like a cool ribbon and then this one here with that cute plaid background and our stamping area nice little tag shape and then like a little chevron shape you can stamp on oopsie so cute let's put these guys back in here and then her die cuts over here her large five large die cuts Ooh, okay so this big guy really pretty it looks like a cage almost like a gazebo kind of thing or what's the word I don't know what the word I'm looking for is but <laughs> as you can see there that's awesome thank you and then this look at this beautiful like snowflake ornament or garland kind of thing very delicate so ooh, let's see if I can get this back in here I probably should have just left them and talked about them while they were still in the pocket okay there we go and then here are um, a few others so she has Merry Christmas um, there's like um, I would say it looks like a little birdie yeah it looks like a cardinal he's kind of facing that way if you can see his little head little sprigs and then she has a uh, little candy cane and her little coffee mug or well I guess not coffee probably a uh, hot cocoa mug how cute I can see there's also a layered up snowflake in there just lovely thank you so much Sharon thanks for joining us again you guys I'm gonna have so much fun with this um, like I said like 75 people signed up and I didn't realize and this is gonna be so easy to swap out so I think this is a good one for like a lot of people you know okay next up uh, Leonor Avendano from Clifton New Jersey oh again thought I opened it but I guess I opened it just a little <laughs> so on top she has this here and oh thank you Leo how beautiful look at that it really pops oh my gosh love the glitter in the background and she has her postage thank you so much a little something special just for you it says <laughs> and then oh the warm and cozy die cut that is so cute thank you so much I love it how fun is that just to pop on all kinds of subject matter in the winter time right for your cards so cute thank you I feel like this year a lot of people have warm and cozy things having to do with fall which makes sense um, so these are her swaps so I'll just open one of them up thank you Leo thanks for joining us again and okay I think I have it so pretty oh I love the vintage background paper you see that in the back there like bells and things very very pretty so her two pockets and her larger one over here and there's her info so I'll just put that right here and then she included all oh, this is cute little flat uh, clippy peace love books and it looks like I don't really want to mess this up for people but you can see they're rhinestones it's like embellishment rhinestones and it looks like a blue color maybe oh here Ooh, look at that it's more like purpley blue that's those are really pretty really fun shapes that's her embellishment item and then her five kind of uh, die cut labels uh, I'll go ahead and open although I don't really want to it's packaged so nicely you guys but let's take a quick peek so we have um, some different shapes in here this looks very familiar I feel like I use that same shape so cute and then she layered up like this one with like the diamond press paper the little houses the little plaid very very good look at that how cute love the unexpected colors in that purple and look at this vintage paper look at the little <laughs> cookies in a bag that is so cute little canister of cookies it looks like very adorable thank you and then over here on this other side oh, let me just pop those back in oh you guys see this is why I don't want to take things out I'm not be able to get them back the same way huh how'd you do it because <laughs> it's not quite as nice but there we go and those are those guys and then over here we have our large die cuts and oosh, again I don't really want to mess with this too much but I can take a moment afterwards to package it back oh it's really tight you know what okay so you can see here there's like a 
it's the Spellbinders, uh, like this one, uh, a gift for you. See how she stamped and then die cut it with the Spellbinders uh, set. So it has that really pretty like uh, curve. So this one's very similar, but I think it has like candy canes and things or the starry one, maybe snowflakes. Uh, we have this beautiful layered up poinsettia, this big silver um, circle that's like a Christmas tree. Hope you can kind of see that very delicately die cut there. Um, this one right here is like a large frame with a whole scene there. Just gorgeous. I do see some gold. I see some pink and blue things in there. So she put plenty of die cuts in there um, for you to use. Oh, so pretty. Thank you so much, Leo. Thanks for joining us again and for sending in your beautiful swap. We have Donna Gensky at a Brown Deer, Wisconsin. Let me open this up. And hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. G-E-N-S-K-E. Maria Gensky, maybe it's Jensky. Aw, <laughs> I love that. And her postage is in here. Those are cute envelopes from your bank. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, let's see here. And okay, so we'll open one up. So obviously these are her four. And let me see if I can open this easy, easily. And on the outside there, she has a die cut there, a little um, tie. Let's get that off of there. And then she has a beautiful papers, again, with that beautiful print on the inside. And okay, let's see. So she has her large pocket and two smaller pockets and quite a few things here. So let's check it out. So here she has um, her labels. Um, really cute mistletoe kisses and this one oh, I love that paper it's very soft the little trees several of her die cuts there with the little label um, really pretty die cuts gorgeous thank you so much I'm gonna pop that guy in there and up here she has several embellishment items or let's see it's like a little felt hat. We have that's so cute, a little sticker. We have some uh, rhinestone type of Sorry, um, like rhinestone trim because they're kind of stuck together, so it's like strips. <laughs> These little mustaches. We got the Santa Claus mustache in the house again here. How cute! Um, or angel wings, but I'm pretty sure those are mustaches. Some stickers and a little die cut guy. And then down here we have a little paper clip. And beautiful, beautiful paper. I love the little people ice skating there. And then these are her large die cuts. Oh, that beautiful tonic um, die. And then she cut it out so you can have the two pieces if you want to have that kind of framed up. Or you have the centerpiece of this guy too, which is nice to add. And here are just a ton of stars and like garlands of stars. That is so pretty. Again, from that paper that's just very delicate. Uh, looks like some little mittens and gloves in different sizes. I love that this paper is cut from like uh, knit paper or paper that looks like knit. Uh, lots of little like ephemera pieces and she has all her die cut pieces in here that are like um, poinsettias, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. That's a cool die cut. And then here's oh a little um, pillow box like the kind of thing you just glue on the side there and push them in on the very ends. So you have a little pillow box gift box with the little tags and some very delicate trees. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Donna. Hi, Dunbar out of Union, West Virginia. Well, thanks for joining us again, Connie. She's a new swapper with us. Oh, there's her postage and return label. Thank you for making a label already because it makes it very easy to put on there. Um, and these are her cute little swap packets there. So let me put this to the side and we'll open one up. Very cute. Oh my goodness, I love the gingerbread goodness here. I love the little um, holly um, border cuts. How cute. So um, I believe that's her info. So yeah, I'm going to leave it. Very good. So Connie did include her info, but she has a facing down, which is very smart. Thank you. And then look at how cute her little topper is like a poinsettia. And she put some little gems on there. And she included pearls as her embellishment item. That is so smart. Thank you so much. And then here we have our um, little stampable labels. And she has like this cool little shape on like some kind of wa like whitewashed wood. We have like a chevron tag. We have this one layered up with the craft paper and the little gold dots in the background. The embossed paper with the topped with the white paper. And then this one's a pretty lavender. Again, uh, really fun for Christmas color. Thank you so much. That's exactly what we're looking for. 
And then over here she has her larger die cuts. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she included the Spellbinders um, piece that's like if you're using a wax seal. So as you can see they're gold glittery. Again, I don't want to miss them because I see most of the things in here are very delicate. There's this beautiful ornate swirl in there and then there's like this one that's more like larger. I don't know if you can see how it's like red with the gold. And this one's green with gold and then there's that Spellbinders one. Um, the Anna Griffin tree and then a Spellbinders oval fluted die cut which are one of my favorite. I, know. <laughs> I remember somebody when I first reviewed that they're like, I don't know, it looks like uh, paper plates, like China, I guess, or something. I'm like, it does, but it's so pretty. I, it's one of my go-to dies. If you guys have ever seen me repeat a die, because it hardly happens on video, <laughs> those are one of them. So I love those. So thank you so much. Thanks for joining us again. And um, oh, so pretty. Thank you. Yes. Exactly what we're looking for there. Um, let's see here. This next one is from Marie Romero out of Kyle, Texas. And she has jam packed in here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh what is going on? Okay. <laughs> no wonder. I'm like, oh, this is because she sent something for me, but this is for me, but there's also a, a folder for me. So I'll just open this up right quick. And of course, I want to keep this uh, ribbon forever and ever. So I'll put that over here. Thank you, Marie. And oh my goodness. Oh, motion crafts. I don't have anything uh, of theirs. So very, very cool. Thank you so much. Um, it looks like uh, a little like camping set, which, you know, I love my little trailers and RVs and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get another RV. <laughs> not another. We don't have one right now. We had one before. <laughs> I'm not that greedy. All right. We won. Just one uh, would be really great. Um, look at this. So it has all the, you know, everything you need for that motion crafts like design. If you don't know anything about them, it's when you pull like the card like this, it looks like it's moving or something, but it's because the way it's stamped and then just the effect you get from um, everything that goes along this. So it's a whole system. So thank you so much. I'll definitely try that out. And then um, a card here I'm seeing with her postage. Oh, what fun. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm going to put this back in the box so I don't misplace it. And then this is the one she included for me. So thank you so much, Marie, for sending one for me. Makes it very easy to show. Um, beautiful plaid on the outside. And on the inside, it's a very soft green um, uh, pattern, right? Uh, and down here, so she has a pocket here and then a pocket pocket, a little guy, and then the large pocket over here. So on this side, she has uh, quite a few die cuts. And little people, little star like uh, ornament. There's like a little circular ornament here. There's like a little set to make a felt tree that is so cute. This cool kind of leather looking paper with a little heart that she put on there. And then this little guy is like a little tiny pocket. Oh, she did the scoring already, so really sweet. Pop that guy back in here. And up here. Oh, okay. Okay, so I was just a little confused because I wasn't sure. Okay, um, so these are her label die cuts, right? I'm assuming. And then over here, um, she has a little embellishment. So it's like tiny. She has the smallest little, little uh, candy cane. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. And then a little picture of how it's supposed to go. So that is your embellishment gift. And then over here, we have the large die cuts. And a large pocket there. And then she has like a Rolodex type of Christmas tree. So it has that bottom punch, and then she included the acetate and everything that goes along with it, the foam that goes along with it for making a shaker. This cool little pocket with like a little hole in there. This guy looks like it makes some kind of 3D object, perhaps like a little gift box, like a little takeout box or something. You know, with the little top that is so cute. Thank you. A little die cut on a burlap scroll, it looks like. And then this is like a movie film die cut. And another couple little boxes. Oh, those are so cute. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And thanks for joining us again, Marie. I'll be right back. I'm Taylor out of Los Angeles. I believe it's Autumn's first time with us too. Um, so let me turn that there because I see she has her info and her address in the very top with her postage. Uh, let me see how I can best open this. So it looks like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna open this guy up because I know some stuff slid out of it. So I will open that one. I'm just trying to keep this over here. Okay. Oh, some other... Okay, I'll make sure that the right pieces go to the right things. Um, let's see here. 
I'm just trying to get to this card. It looks like she included a card with her postage. Oh my goodness, look at the little gnome. <laughs> so cute. Little shaker there. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. She said she didn't sign it so that you know you can use it and brighten someone else's day also. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Okay, so let's open this guy up. Oh, look at the paper. Super Christmas. Um, really, really cute. I mean, look at this little Santa Claus paper. That is adorable. And then she put a couple little stickers here. And then here she has her embellishment with the rhinestones and the um, uh, really sweet uh, ribbon there. All the way up to the top. Package really cute with a little topper. That is adorable. And then here we have our tags that are stampable. Again, I'm going to assume this one came from there because that would make five. So we have this one with the glittery background. Again, stamping on the top there. Little tag die shape. Little like um, plaque label. Look at this one. That's so cute. I love the little edges with the stitching and everything. And then this beautiful shape here. Ready to be stamped. Just gorgeous. And on this side, her little pocket with like the little scalloped edges, really, really sweet. She has her die cuts. Now I'm not gonna, well, I can feel that there's something else. Okay. Oh, look at the little uh, Santa Claus hat all packaged up. So you have all your different pieces. A little Christmas tree that I'm assuming is probably with this one somehow. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, we have the shaker. How cute and sweet. Thank you so much and with all her little like, um, pieces even little female you can put inside the little shaker if you want or use as buttons how cute is that we have the merry christmas a pieced stocking very very fancy one <laughs> um, and then uh, christmas trees like i had mentioned cute little stamped and cut bow another no that's a santa hat from before right where's that another one? Oh, it's another one okay and then here's a little um snowman you can put together <laughs> that is so cute wow thank you so much autumn thanks for joining us again for taking the plunge as it were and uh, let me package this back up and i'll be right back liza sanchez out of lesby maryland and she has her tag there and oh okay good i was like did i misplace one because <laughs> i thought i only grabbed three um oh look at this gorgeous card Oh, I love the little like sequins on there. Look at that. Just so pretty. Thank you so much. Oh, and another card I can use. Thank you so, so much. And then these are her swaps. Ooh, dark paper on the outside. Let's see what that looks like. This is made by Liza Sanchez with a little sticker there. Okay. Very pretty. Ooh, and this is more of a jacquard kind of look <laughs> very fancy tapestry kind of look to it so these are her small pockets and her large pocket and here she has um her i was assuming embellishment set so she gave you guys little die cuts that are already put together and super cute again our little penguin the little gingerbread man i can see the santa claus in the back and then this little um hat so cute so they're literally stickers embellishments ready to go and then up here on top she has her stampable labels and look at how pretty this color is oh, i love it it's like not quite sage it's more blue but very very pretty and then here she has little tiny guys oh my goodness how cute are those for the smallest little stamping there and then a little tag this uh, really cool shape here and then in the back she has like an oval shape that's more of a tag very stampable very ready for that again i don't want to mess anything up there we go and then on the large side pocket she has this gorgeous like wreath look how delicate that is lovely oh so that same kind of sagey blue paper this beautiful kind of mirror like background right it has that beautiful oval shape with all that scroll work on the edges look at this oh this is the spellbinders oh my gosh i never even thought this is awesome for christmas how pretty is that they're magnolias right it looks gorgeous all layered up beautiful frame look at this blue oh so icy and awesome and then here she has this cool red big background type of uh, statement piece just gorgeous wow thank you so much liza thanks for joining us again i will be right back one up. oh this is from chris almond um out of plymouth minnesota and just want to show you how lovely this is on top wow thank you so much chris so pretty let's open this guy up Oh my goodness, so she has her swaps and then a package there and just on a bed of air so nothing got damaged. Thank you so much, Chris, for taking care like that. So these are her swaps. This one has my name on it. Ooh, there's something fiber looking in here. <laughs> Let's open this guy up. 
I was like she included one for me so I'm gonna open that one but as you can see the paper shoes here are like deep greens and burgundies and things so I'll see if this is pretty much what's gonna be in here then we'll go through this guy look at this oh my goodness I'm gonna read her note because just in case that's for Miranda or if it's me or if she even says there but look at how gorgeous this is protected with this vellum that I can totally reuse oh that beautiful stag on there sending well wishes this is so pretty with the soft pinks and peachy kind of pinks on there again a card I can use she left it just open there uh, if you pass this card onto another <laughs> and change the sentiment her hand crochet dishcloth oh I love it <laughs> 100% cotton, and then she included a little extra postage. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is so cool. Thank you. I love it. Look at in a little bag of like die cuts for me, which are just the most gorgeous colors. I am in love. Thank you. Look at that. You know, I love my corals, and they're like layered up die cuts. Thank you. And then look at a little dishcloth. This is so cute. I have to show it to you guys because it has like a little. Um, flower uh, topper there. Look at it. It's so cute so I can use this because she left it so yeah, I can either attach it there, which I wouldn't because obviously that means it's going to get all roughed up, but I can definitely use this on another project. How cute. I love the way you package that. It looks so lovely. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's open this guy up. Beautiful paper. And we'll see our insert. Oh my gosh, so lovely. So she has her small pockets here and her larger pocket here with that beautiful edge design. And look at this. So this is how she's presenting her beautiful ribbon. It's red ribbon with a little gold edging. I love the idea of putting on this border die. Oh my gosh, so that's the Anna Griffin border die. And then you can use it, I suppose, if you would like to afterwards. Here are her um, labels. And since this is for me, I will open it up. Otherwise, I would kind of show you through the bag. Because I have been striking, batting a zero here or whatever <laughs> with taking these guys out. Beautiful Anna Griffin paper, it looks like, with that little white topper so you can stamp into. Again, here with that little Anna Griffin gift, the little white area to stamp on. I mean, how cute, how smart, really fun. Look at this one, just gorgeous. A little, um, ooh, look at this guy. That was the back side, so here's this little foiling, the little area to stamp on, and this little gift with the area to stamp on, too. That is really, really smart, really cute. Oh my gosh, thank you. And look at this paper. We got Steampunk Santa <laughs> engineering some cool stuff back there, I'm sure. That is so cool. And over here are, again, her larger die cuts. So here she has, like, um, a little tree, a little gold tree that came out, or that you would pair up with this background one so again you can use that guy too if you want to pop him out I suppose it looks like it's completely die cut and uh, she included an accent piece for him so there's that beautiful green piece there these are her sentiments oh I love the little stars I love that she included them because um, these little guys they were just finished off that whole look right New Year Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and this one says very merry and then the word Christmas is in there and then that stag which is super cool all those really fine beautiful like um, snowflake die cuts the red die cut here and in the background we have this beautiful uh, piece that's cut out of white paper again you can do something similar to what she did on her card uh, just beautiful die cuts look at these oh my gosh very intricate very interesting love it thank you so much Chris thanks for joining us again and for your really sweet handmade gifts okay this next swap is from Karen Clean I just want she is from uh, sorry Folsom California I'll just show you the top of the box with all that pink paper. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Is that a full paper pack? Karen. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You guys. Oh, I could cry. Thank you. I, I you know, I, I, I can't even speak. <laughs> so, in the last swap, the pocket swap, a lot of people had that gingerbread paper. And I'm like, where are you getting it? And I honestly don't even think I saw where somebody mentioned they got it from or what it was. Um, a gingerbread Christmas. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you. And of course, I'm not going to want to cut it, but I will. I will use it. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So here we go. She has. Um, Oh, Karen, thank you. And then her swap is packaged in here so nicely. So let me open this guy up. And... Oh, girl! <laughs> she has a box within a priority envelope within a priority box. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Okay, this one has my name on it. I will open this up right quick. You know, I usually just open the box, the one, and then I'm like, okay, here they are, you know? So, yeah, hold on. All right. 
Oh, actually, I could use this box when I swap it out, so we will keep that intact. But these are her papers, um, her inserts, and you can see that has Anna Griffin there. So it's going to be some beautiful paper for sure. And let's see what's in this one, because if it's one for me, then I can just open this guy up. Oh my gosh, Karen, you guys, thank you. Honestly, you don't have to. Um, okay, let's open this guy up. Thank you, and she does have one in there for me, so we will check that out. Mickey and Minnie, so cute. And that's her postage. I love these little packages from Daiso. And I will open this up. Let me open this up carefully, Albert. And thank you so much. So it's uh, KS Craft Angel Wing uh, bow dies. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I'm going to put this right here. So I will use it very soon, right with my kind of everyday kind of dies that I use more often. I'm going to put the postage back over here and I will open this up. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas to me. All right, so there we go. Merry Christmas to all you guys. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this paper is so awesome. So it's Anna Griffin. It's very uh, pink and like tropical almost. I know some people do like Hawaii for Christmas and things like that. Um, really cute. I love the gold um, edging she put on her pockets there. So these are her embellishment items. Some just amazing and really well done wax seals, as you can see there. A little Merry Christmas. She even decorated like the little dots on the ornaments, you know, and the little extras there. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And up here she has her um, stampable tags and labels. So let's just check these guys out. Again, since this is mine, I will open this right up. Otherwise, you can kind of see through there. So we have um, the gold paper with the little white paper again, so you can stamp, you know, with the glitter paper, so you can stamp there. Little postage edge type things, or scalloped edge, should I say. Um, so pretty. Very usable. Thank you so much. Love all the colors. Very traditional Christmas and a little silver one. I'm going to put this to the side here. And then these are her die cuts. And so it says, oh, this one's a gift card pocket. That is so cute. Oh, look at it. And she even, oh my gosh. I don't know if she stamped that or if that's a rub-on or like some kind of machinery, but it has ho-ho-ho with a gift card pocket. Uh, tons of ephemera pieces in here. Let your heart be light. So several ephemera pieces that are very, very lovely. And then these are her die cuts. Oh my gosh. Karen, thank you. I, this little flower right here already has my attention. How gorgeous. Look at this little guy. So she included the little <laughs> twine. Oh my gosh, I'm like, is it attached to something? What's going on here? No, it's just the flower and then the twine separate, but um, look at that cute little layered up flower. I love that pink look of it, very crisp. Um, so we have our twine because we have our reindeer and oh my gosh, you guys, one for either side so you kind of see where this is going. And then we have um, the sleigh, again, one for either side. She included the... Um, twine that goes along with them to put it all together and then it makes like a little um, gift box I'm assuming this part kind of folds up in here so you can glue it on the sides and then there's some extra decorative bits here oh my goodness that is so fun yep this is a slaying reindeer right there <laughs> all right guys let me package this back up and thank you so much Karen I'll be right back okay guys next up I have a swap in from Kathy Sanders out of Oregon Sorry, I'm not sure if it's Lapine, Oregon, or what it said, so I'm just saying Oregon. Or something like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Kathy has hers uh, here, and it says VNA on here, so let's open these guys up. Very pretty tissue paper. I'm going to totally destroy, and what is going on here? <laughs> you think you can rip it off of the tissue paper, and it did not let me. Let's open this guy up. Thank you so much for joining us again, Kathy. And thanks for including one for me. Oh, that's so pretty. Look how she colored it. Again, just a little something here and there. She adds some shimmer. Just so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> and buy yourself a coffee with the extra. Thank you so much. I will do that. Okay. So let's open this up. Again, I'm just going to have to destroy that, but it's very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Handmade with Love by Kathy's Corner. That is so cute. That's her little info. Again, you guys are doing great. I said if you want to include info, a little business size card, something like that. But no bigger because we don't want to take up more space with extras. All right. Beautiful paper. Look at the bells. I was going to say, it wasn't overtly Christmassy when I was looking at it. It was just like gold and lovely, but it does have, definitely has bells and holly and stuff like that. How gorgeous. 
and this is her um, insert so pretty she has her large pocket here and the two smaller ones here so let's just go for it looks like her embellishment item is this beautiful glitter mix and you know what since it's there it doesn't want to come up I'll just show you on here you can see that table scatter is like holly she has some red sequins in there um, green and white like uh, spangles those little um, <gasps> Cartman's that the word I'm looking for maybe not this one but there's some name I always think of when I'm talking about um, con not confetti what's it called sequins and things but cart right cart rights cart right maybe that's what it is what am I thinking I think that's a brand though anyway there's little snowflakes in there really really pretty and these are her um, labels so it's there you know she has that beautiful background paper with the area to stamp again just beautiful with that nice area to stamp on there whatever sentiment you want to add beautiful tag she even has a little bit of layers on there um, really cute with the little is that the Jolie's stickos maybe something she made they're very cute um, a little tag again with the area to stamp lovely and then this one's a whole little collection of things with the little um, ribbon and everything extra for you to stamp on and make it very lovely oh those are so pretty I love I mean look at this so again it's that Anna Griffin I believe pocket and this one too look at how decorative and gorgeous those are and over here are her larger um, uh, die cuts really pretty with um, here she has a bow layered up and even has a little guy you can put in the center so the gold tails and like uh, middles in the center area very very cute and we have um, some layered up die cuts here with the rhinestones on there really just super gorgeous and then look at this guy just a beautiful stag with that background of the tree line there coming coming down the stream and this beautiful intricate die cut really really lovely oh my goodness thank you so much Kathy thanks for uh, sending one for me and joining us again and she's let's pop this guy in here all right I'll be right back. It's a good thing I paused because I had to try open this one and I want to say it's Leslie Pico and on the outside it says Bernie um, out of Elk Grove, California but I think it's Leslie Pico so we will check that out. Yeah, Leslie <laughs> it says there. All is calm, all is bright swap and so it looks like she has one for here for me. These are the ones that she included for the swap. Very Christmassy paper there, lovely and so I will <laughs> open this up. Thank you so much, Leslie, and again, I believe it's her first time also joining us, so I'll put that little clippy back in there. Seasons, greetings. So pretty. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you and yours as well. And her paper is this beautiful green paper here. We'll open this guy up. And she had like a little decorative flat clippy which we discussed there you go so her large pocket and her two smaller pockets and here we have some paper studio gems little rhinestones very very pretty and that green just lovely oh and she has a little train punch too <laughs> definitely a blast from the past and up here she has some uh, die cut sentiments the Merry Christmas and all these beautiful uh, papers so she has glitter gold paper silver red uh, metallic papers very delicate and very pretty and then over here she has um, her pocket with the large die cuts and since this is for me I will open it up but they look delicate Ooh. oh I love it look at this little guy oh so cute I love it in the gold because it really makes everything pop we have a little doily we have these beautiful pieces here oh she included a couple of those yes thank you <laughs> can't get enough gingerbread beautiful gold candy canes and then here we have Seasons Greetings, kind of like a background die, or I mean I would just pop this on the card and maybe a couple extra little like uh, rhinestones here and there like she included and be lovely. Merry Christmas, look at this one with all the little characters in there, that is so cute. All kinds of different things and there's gifts and uh, ornaments and candy canes and snowflakes and then this beautiful um, Christmas tree here and this little guy oh my gosh it's Santa Claus I thought it was like a ribbon kind of like this and I looked I'm like wait hold on there's a belly <laughs> that is so pretty oh my gosh thank you so much Leslie thanks for joining us uh, for trying it out for the first time here and for including one for me and let's open the next one so I'm gonna put this to the side since this is mine and just put it here along with my beautiful card and we'll put this back in the box thank you so much and this next one here is from Gia Joseph out of Madison, Alabama. Oopsie. <laughs> Packaged it really nice and taken care of there. 
Oh, I'm going to give those to the kids so they can melt them in the water. You know, they love that. So these are her swaps again. And, you know, if you're using paper that's decorated on the inside that's white on the outside, it's going to look something like that. And then this is her postage and one for me. So thank you so much, Gia. Thanks for joining us again. Um, let me pop this in here so we don't misplace that. And let's check it out. Oh, so pretty. Look at the poinsettia paper. I just love it. And the stripes, I like how this, this one's up and down. This one's kind of like a, at an angle. And then look at these papers. How cute with little figgy pudding. You know, I love that. Little gumdrops and everything. Just lovely. So here is her, um, extra her embellishment piece and look at that it's faux snow that is so smart because honestly it weighs nothing <laughs> it's very thin and there's a ton in here i mean you guys this is probably enough to last you a couple of years on your projects and stuff goes so far so she has a little clippy on there um really really cute packaged really nicely so that's in her two small pockets her large pocket over here and these are her stampable um labels so let's bring these guys out and we have little glitter with the little white strip down the center and look at this little sweetheart oh my gosh this is a tonic it looks very familiar i feel like it was one of their sign like a little sign i don't know um beautiful um sash kind of thing plaque that has like a little curve to it and look at this i love the way she popped like those anna griffin um stickers on the sides I mean, I think they're Anna. They look like it. And then look at this one. Oh, this is so lovely. The red is like sparkly, like shimmery. And then that little white center so you can stamp on it. Very tonic on that one with the Anna Griffin little candles. That is lovely, Gia. Thank you so much. On this side, just making sure. Uh, we have, look at this, the little layered up house or chapel looks like a house very very cute i love the gold with the white background and the white is also pearlescent and lovely and then here she has these guys so we have this so here we have dies. this die with the inlay and then we have the background layer and they can layer up like this if you like very very pretty love it and here's a oh that diamond press background um holly cut of green metallic paper which is really really nice and lovely and then uh, the Anna Griffin Christmas tree and she topped it off with a little gold star and even a rhinestone very lovely ready to go love that paper it looks like flocked I don't know how to explain it like gold shimmery even though it's green and then this guy all layered up with the background dye and that beautiful Anna Griffin top layer piece just gorgeous I mean how fun to I mean all these little things you can put here you know I mean this is Thank you so much, Gia. Very, very pretty. I cannot wait, you guys, till you get yours back and make your flow books. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, if I can get this guy in here. Actually, this is mine, right? This is mine? Yes. So, I will put it right here. Thank you so much for joining us again. Oh, my gosh. Lovely. And this next one is from Jennifer Crabtree in a big box. So, let's see what's going on here. Oh, she's packaged it very really nicely and carefully. So, taking a lot of care with hers. Thank you so much. And these are her inserts and there's one for me. So thank you so much. Honestly, I love obviously receiving them, but it makes it very easy for the um, showing of them also. So she has a card here. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks for joining us again. Oh, and Jennifer is from Blaine, Washington. Haven't memorized that one yet, although Jennifer has been with us for a minute. Oh, a little note. This is so pretty. Look at the little, like, background. You know, I usually cut those out of, like, black, but how pretty is that in the green? Very soft watercolor background. Little note. <laughs> a little cash. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to pop this in here. And this is her uh, outside of her insert with the music paper. Just very lovely. Two small pockets, one large one. And let's see what we have. So these are her um, labels to stamp on. So she has this beautiful doily one. This one with the really soft colors of that beautiful paper with the little glitter. That's very lovely because the way she framed it out, like if you stamped here, you know, with the little um, stars, looks really pretty. This gorgeous kind of, kind of placemat looking, doesn't it? It's really pretty, like a nice little napkin. Gorgeous. Beautiful parchment paper looking one. And then this big guy. Stamp. A big, big sentiment on that one. Oh, and then the papers on the inside. Sorry, you guys. Let me look at the gold foiling, the way she framed it all. A little, little cardinal peeking out of the pocket there. <laughs> Beautiful pocket with a little notch. And then over here on this side, again, just look at this little guy. So her embellishment items are these cute stickers. So basically a sticker pack that she trimmed down to fit into the pocket. Very, very sweet. Lots of sentiments. 
on that one. Super cute. Thank you. And then on this side, Jennifer has included her large die cuts, which include the word Merry Christmas, or words that are separate, and that really pretty glitter paper. Look at this. We love him. Oh, this is a nice one, too. Nice size, you know? And look how sturdy that is. <laughs> and then here she has like a little um, garland or on the edge kind of thing. But it, I think it's green, right? It's a very, very deep green. Yeah, on the camera it looks more green than in real life. I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at my hand. And near the black paper it looked almost similar. So there's that gorgeousness. And look at this beautiful background doily that oval shape really lovely and then the door oh this is so smart I have something like this from um, Carter's Companion maybe that's what it is I don't know but um, it cut the door did the whole background thing and it's the whole thing so you can just decorate that up that is very lovely thank you so much oh my goodness thank you thank you <laughs> thank you for including one for me I am going to get that in there all right so sweet thank you Thanks for joining us again. Uh, let's see here. I know we we're already close to an hour when I offloaded some of the footage here. So this next one is from Mr. Reed out of Avila, Indiana. But I'm trying to get as far as I can. So she did include a cute pocket with her cash, or her postage, should I say, <laughs> her cash, and then a cute little tag pocket that I can reuse. Thank you. And here she has these gorgeous pockets, and I'm going to really look at them very closely because her stuff's over there, so like, you know, I think it's fine, whichever one. And I'll just go with this guy, the red stripe. Thank you so much. Thanks for including one for me and for joining us again. Misty had uh, took a little break. <laughs> um, so here we go. And I think her mother is also swapping with us this time around. So um, she emailed me for the, herself and her, for her mom. So we will, I think it's here already too. So we'll get to that one. Really, really sweet. Love the paper. I mean, this is such a cute paper pack if it's all the same. I think it is because it has a very similar feel like the little gridded background that you can kind of see in all these. Very cute. And on the inside, we have our Santa Claus and he's just like, ho, ho, ho. Look at how cute. Large pockets, small pockets with the scallop edge, with this beautiful, um, how to say, pico edge, but it's like a ruffled edge, very lovely. So these are her embellishments, some nice rhinestones, A, B rhinestones, so they have that cool look to them. Those are so cute. Thank you. And their little pocket there. And then here are her uh, stampable labels. Thank you, these are gorgeous. I love the look of this one especially. Just seeing that with the little embossing in the background and everything. Oh my gosh. Sorry about my lighting, it's a little bit dark right now. Maybe I need to back up. Um, but this one here, the little gray one, very soft and pretty for winter with a little white topper there and then the soft pink corally. Ooh, I love both sides of this one. Very pretty. And this one has that gold foiling with the little white topper bit. Again, so you can stamp there. Thank you so much. This is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Um, there we go. And it fits right back in here. I do like that these are packaged in their own little thing, so it's easy to get them out in and out of there. And these are her large die cuts. Oh my gosh, these are very delicate. I don't want to mess with them right now, even though yeah, she did send it to me and I can open them up, but wow. So right here you can see this gold uh, snowflake, nice large snowflake. In the back there's a white glittery wreath. And then you see the little red bow. And then behind that, there's um, a kind of a pinky coral one, as you can see there. It's like a big, big snowflake or wreath. Snowflake wreath because they're very, it's like both things mixed in. And then this really minty green and pretty. I love the soft, sweet colors. I mean, look how it just coordinates with like what she has over here, right? With the paper pack. So pretty uh, with all the different little snowflakes cut out. And then the background is like this one with all these gold foiled stars, as you can see. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Thank you so much, Misty. Thanks for joining us and thanks for sending one for me. Super appreciate that. You guys will work for crafts or whatever. <laughs> too funny. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm laughing at my own joke. I'm like, oh, too funny. Uh, this next one is from, oh, yeah, we already said Avila, Indiana, right, with Misty. Uh, from Linda Rodriguez out of Montclair, California. Got another California girl here. And let's open it. Ooh, this is so pretty gold paper that's very lovely and she did include one for me or mm, something's going on here oh wow so she has her four here cute paper you can see there and then this one is a card and a folder that's why i was like oh there's two things in here but that's what it is uh let's open this guy up probably where she put the washi isn't it 
Thank you so much, Linda. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is her card. Ooh, beautiful. One of my favorites from Anna Griffin, this uh, nativity scene. I mean, how gorgeous is that, right? Just from that gold or any color, I mean, that you want to pop, it just looks so nice. I mean, you can see the baby's face really nicely. Oh, love it. The little star here, it says Noel. An embossed background. Oh my goodness. Oh, she gave me her um, an address label. Thank you so much. And a postage in a little pocket that is so cute. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and yours also. Linda, thank you. Gorgeous. And these are her inserts, or this is her insert, because I have the one here. Oh, beautiful papers. I think this is the first of these colorway, isn't it? With the kind of like plummy purples. Um, just really gorgeous. So here, you guys, where are you getting these little clippies? <laughs> and I had seen it earlier, and I think Gia's. Uh, so cute. So she has a scalloped edge on her pockets. Again, the large pocket, the two smaller ones. And she included some AB rhinestone stickers. Really cute with that topper piece. Very lovely. Fits in there really nicely. So cute. Thank you. And then these are her stampable labels. This is such a gorgeous colorway. Oh my gosh, that forest green with that little sage green, the silver, and then it's like a, it's not just off white, it has kind of like a pinky tone to it. Really gorgeous. So we have these guys. Look at this. Oh, lovely, lovely labels. Thank you so much. Exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to enjoy these because honestly, the hardest thing for me whenever I do sentiments, I'm like, oh, now i got to go find something to cut it with. Okay, I'll just cut it with a guillotine and it's just like a rectangle or whatever. It's so nice to have these because you're just going to stamp on them, put them on your project and you're good to go, you know? Of course, we'll probably use a press for that just to make sure we're in the right spot. Look at this Noel. Delicate with the vellum and then the words Noel, uh, the letters um, in like silver paper but it's it's kind of more pearlescent paper very soft that is so gorgeous and then we have that nativity scene here with the Anna Griffin nativity scene oops sorry guys and then look at this guy oh my goodness cut and emboss and looking gorgeous that is a big boy <laughs> that's beautiful um I'm put these to the side so I can focus on what's in the little glassine bag Oh, what's falling? Okay. <laughs> I heard something shifting around behind me here. Oh, these are lovely. I can see them already. Look at these beautiful silver holographic um, snowflake. That gorgeous silver. Again, hollow in a different way. This one has like that digitized look where this is just like smooth and holographic. The star here. We have a layered up Anna Griffin uh, ornament. Just gorgeous. The words Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh love the colorway and then look at this angel is oh my that's lovely i'm so sorry guys i keep focusing up here i need to be down here but so pretty thank you so very much oh my gosh okay i'm gonna take a moment to put this one away and i'll be right back thank you so much linda thanks for joining us again this next one is from tasha estrada out of maryland fort meade i think i want to say it says so there's her swap and thanks for joining us. I believe it's her first time with us, possibly. Uh, let's get this little guy open. So cute. Love me some Baker's Twine. And these are her swaps here. Oh, okay, let's see. So, okay, <laughs> I was like, I don't know what's going on. She packaged them in this um, little guys to hold them together. And she has a card here for me. So right on the top, it's sweet thank you card an expressions hallmark card and then her info and her address so i don't want to put that right in there thank you so much and her postage is in there and let's see what tasha has here so again her four inserts and um again she has her large pocket her two small pockets really really sweet uh gorgeous paper i love that with all the little gifts look at the little bells on those gifts that's so cute so she has this with her top right it says peace oh look at the little i love this little uh designs like icing this one's just a gorgeous um very like stained glass looking design on that pocket and this one has a little scallop edge but she included a shaker mix for you guys so it has the words like merry christmas there's Sorry, red white you know me i'm already misspeaking so it has gold and silver hexagons there's like white discs in there i see like green discs i see little green christmas trees something that looks a little bit clear maybe like a snow kind of look in there very sweet mix thank you so much and then the merry christmases are green and red i love that piece there 
with a very old English look to it. And then in this pocket, she has her um, little tags and things. So this one has several tags on a, one little um, twine. She has little gifts, super cute. And then this one little guy here, stampable there. And oop, a, um, emergency vehicle, so I just paused and tuck these in anyway. Took a moment to do that. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this guy. The little angel fits behind this so well. It's really cute. Um, I was gonna say, I feel something plastic yet. Yeah, okay, so, oh, she die cut, so it's like sturdy. So here she has her little uh, angel with her large die cuts, gold on gold, super pretty. And look at this layered up tree. Oh my gosh, he is thick feeling. So cute with the little um, star on top right and the little uh, gold base here. Here she has a little like star swirl super thick paper and look at this little shaker guy oh my gosh all stitched up and everything all around the edges oh my goodness he's got a little snow in there with him <laughs> and then this little oh my gosh like a little polaroid camera or like one of those little instax camera how cute is that with all the different detail that she added to that and then it says merry christmas oh my gosh you guys like seriously how cute <laughs> So sweet. Thank you so much, Tasha. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to package this back up and I'll Joan be right back. Hyatt out of Depot Bay, Oregon. I hope I say that right. I always Depot, Depot. I don't know. <laughs> D-E-P-O-E. Gorgeous paper on the outside, probably on the inside too, since, you know, we just had this gorgeous paper here. Double-sided paper. Oh, <laughs> pulled out a whole lot of money here. That's her postage. I'll put that back in here and... We'll take a look. Thank you so much, Joan. Thanks for coming back and joining us. Oh my gosh, how cute is this little guy? I love his little face. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> He's a little sweetie. And then here's her uh, insert. And look how sweet. Oh, love it. I love the little die cut edges with the little um, snowflake like detail. She includes some pink uh, pearls for her embellishment super super cute and generous amount there and then here are her labels for us to stamp on I'll open these up right quick oh the heater just came out. I hope you guys are staying nice and warm here it's like 63 degrees 64 and we're like freezing <laughs> so we have little tags again that you can stamp on label areas oh look at this one it's like that little tonic square that is so cute little pink look at the little um, Snowflakes cut out, or like in Boston, the little cutouts that is so cute. And then she has the red and green. Oh, are these together? I don't know if it's just stuck together or not, but either way, <laughs> there are either one or two labels here that have the little uh, stamping area in there. Oh my gosh, so cute. Thank you. And then here are her, her large pocket, or here is her large pocket with the die cuts. Love all these little bags, keeping everything nice and together. Oh my goodness, I love this little character. I mean, you guys. I got an extra one. <laughs> Thank you so much. So cute. Oh my gosh. I hope I was holding things in the right spot. Oh, I was just thinking I might not have. Hope I did. Uh, his cute little outfit and of course his little icing and things looks very much like the um, Stamps of Life gingerbread man, but do they have stamps for the face? At least I don't have them. I don't think. Do I? <laughs> I feel like when I review them, I think of a thing was die cut, so very cute little face. Um, you know what I do is get into my diamond press faces and mix and match them because we have a lot of diamond press faces, don't we? Cute little um, light bulb or, you know, Christmas bulb, Christmas light with the layered pieces and the whole little background. I mean, how adorable is this? Ugh. So cute, thank you. And she has the word blessings all layered up in that beautiful blue paper, super like holographic. Oh my gosh, you're kidding! It's a paper ruffle, and she folded it so you can see. Remember, I had said I should probably design something like on uh, Design Space that all you have to do is have the um, just put score lines right and then this way and that way and things like that. So that's literally what this I mean, it's a gorgeous piece, and then it has the little score lines. And I don't know if she made this herself or what because it might be a die. It probably is a die, right? But at the same time, you can do this. Do the little doily edge and then add your oh, your score lines. That is so cool. Thank you. And then look at this guy. Ooh, wintry scene. Maybe you can use this for Halloween even. It's a little spooky, but it's also very crisp, right, for uh, winter. Love it. Thank you so much, Joan. Oh, my gosh. How cute. Oh, thank you. I'm going to put this little guy in here, too. Pop that over there. And... I'll grab it. the next one. Uh, this next one is from 
my book here, sorry. Uh, Sharon Schaefer out of Seguin, Texas. And this is Sharon Swap here, and I feel the top one had a little something, so um, let it snow, VNA, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thanks for including one for me and for joining us again. And her postage is in there, so I'll let that fall down in there. And it looks like a card here, but as you can see, it has a let it snow. Merry Christmas, a cute little washi border. Thank you so much. And then this is her swap. I'm trying to take a moment to fix the lighting, but I think I made it worse. Okay, so this is her beautiful favorite. Look how cute and fun. All the different little Christmas, you know, mittens and stockings and little bells, ornaments, all that cute stuff. Her little pockets with a little, like, floral uh, border. So this is her uh, embellishment item. Oh my goodness, some beautiful um, charms. Look at those. Oh, look at the roses. So some really sweet charms in here. Little sunflowers and roses. And these are her um, stampable tags here. So she has some tag shapes. She has some, of course, label shapes. And these you can layer up. She left them separate, so you can do that or use them separately. Big tag there. And then this label. And again, you can use them separately, so you have a couple, or use them together, layered up. Thank you so much, Sharon. Let me pop those guys in there. And then her large pocket over here, we have these die cuts. So let's, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Look at this angel. So delicate and pretty. Um, I mean, just love that green paper with the white background. And then they're separate, so you can use them separately or obviously layer them up. That beautiful angel that we saw earlier is so pretty. And a really soft pink metallic paper. It's just gorgeous. Some beautiful red wings. Look at those guys. And then this one is stamped in die cut uh, nativity scene. Very sweet. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then we have our little uh, deer, our little stag jumping there, leaping there. And then the Merry Christmas, um, a circular um, Merry Christmas with the silver background and the red metallic, matte metallic paper on top. So pretty. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thanks for joining us again. And thanks for sending one for me. I'm going to put packages back up. I was going to say put this back up. But anyway, I'll be right back. We have an entry from Alice Langenecker from Hustis Ford, Wisconsin. And it's been a minute since we've seen Alice, so welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. Let me open this guy up. And bring these guys out. And let me see here. Okay, so she does have four here. Oh my gosh, that lighting is crazy. Okay, <laughs> and so she has one here for me, so I'm gonna open that guy up. Oh, oh, you know what? I might have it upside down or something. Okay, <laughs> let's just put this. Did I drop something? Hope not. Okay, turn that over. So she has one here for me. <laughs> what a cute little puppy. And she has her uh, postage in there, so I'll pop that back in the case. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us again, like I said there. Okay, so here she has um, a couple things. So let's see. We have some tag uh, label type things here. So little tags. Oh, super cute. Beautiful colors, beautiful papers. Love the way she framed those out. Very, very pretty. And then, oh, here's her uh, embellishment item, which are these... Um, wood veneer uh, characters. I mean, they are super cute. I love a nutcracker, and this is <laughs> very, very cute, very lovely. And then here, um, so her two small pockets, her larger pocket, and beautiful paper with Magic of Christmas. I mean, just the look of it, very, very pretty. And then these are her large die cuts. We have Merry Christmas. You know, hopefully you can see the word joy back here. Oh, and it has, okay, so Merry Christmas wreath. That burgundy paper with like silver flecks. Really pretty. And this joy, you can layer that up. Just so pretty with that sage kind of tealy, <laughs> sage teal. It's that, that really pretty just blue paper. And look at this little, oh my gosh, the most delicate little border. I'm going to leave it on this piece in the background because they look really nice together. That green background, super delicate and lovely. And then these little guys, it's like a little set of, um, it looks like the Spellbinders one uh, from a little while back. And it's just layered up with the ornaments and a little white paper in the background. Again, with that silver fleck, really pretty. And then she has the jingle bells here, really delicate. And then a beautiful bell die cut. Really gorgeous. Thank you so much, Alice. Thanks for joining us again. I'm going to repackage this and I'll be right back. I have a swap from Yolanda Sanchez out of Bryan, Texas. 
and oh, such beautiful paper my goodness so she has one here for me thank you so much let's open this guy up sorry I'm totally destroying that envelope oh it's the little gnomes from the um, crafts companion collection super cute oh thank you a little extra postage there thank you so much thanks for joining us again Yolanda thanks for including one for me I'll put these to the side and we'll open this guy up just gorgeous paper I love it thank you so this is her insert with the large pocket and the two smaller ones how cute is this I love that little um, edging it looks like the kind you can weave ribbon or something through so this is her info she has some little info there about herself um, it looks like this is one of her um, labels that you can uh, stamp on so I'll just leave it here and she included as her embellishment items some adhesive gems and beautiful colorway very soft and really goes right back to her paper so pretty these are her um, other stampable um, labels Ooh. oh I love that she just cut it down that's a good idea um, for the little plastic bag you know so really pretty shape here again light color so you can stamp on just really great look at that little cutie and this guy has his little like swoosh feel <laughs> with the little white topper piece so again you can stamp on it really nicely and kind of like a little Tim Holtzy kind of um, piece there at least that's what it reminds me of thank you so much oh okay you know what I'm just not gonna put it back in there so we'll just put it back in here and that's fine all right and then over here are her large die cuts and so she put this look at this little gal oh I love her so much oh so cute um, it looks very crickety maybe like it was a uh, cut, uh, die cutting machine super cute love her I love the texture she used for the paper like that basil paper so it has texture for the cookie and then she popped these guys in a really nice little bag here that you, of course you can reuse so let's grab these beautiful um, soft pink uh, hot cocoa maybe little coffee little chai latte <laughs> really really pretty with a little rhinestone in the center and then a stamped and cut um, Santa Claus and his reindeer we love that kind of scene and then we have some really nice um, snowflakes a glittery one the silver glitter white glitter I know it's kind of mixed together there and then that silver on top oh my gosh how cute are these oh I'm already like oh yeah how about if it's holding its little cup <laughs> that's so cute oh my goodness anyhow so a whole pair of mittens with the glitter um, sleeves there sleeves cuffs cuffs is the word I'm looking for Jesus the reason for the season really lovely it looks like it has some embossing hmm I, mean, I think that's on the paper already that's lovely what a nice way to uh, make that pop Thank you so much, Yolanda. Thanks for including one for me. Thanks for joining us again. I will be right back. I have a swap from Diane Curtis out of Finksburg, Maryland. And right on top, she has a little bundle. So this is her bundle of swaps there. And she has an insert, looks like, for me. So thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This has been so much fun. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to swap them out. So much fun. Noel, beautiful diamond press background. She had a little glitter on that. Lovely. Her postage is in there with her information. Thank you. I hope you and your family also have a wonderful Christmas. And so let's check out this insert. We open it up. That beautiful red striped uh, foiled paper. Really lovely. I love the pairing of these other papers there with the little, oh, look at that border punch. It has like little bows. That is so cute. So let's open this guy up here. She has little tag cute says joy and then she decorated her embellishment items here which are like rhinestone or not rhinestone pearls oh yeah well, there are some rhinestones there R pearls and rhinestones <laughs> with some little candy canes uh, topped off with that beautiful deer or stag there which is just lovely I'm gonna pop this back in here thank you so much and then here are her um, stampable labels again with that little center I love where she inked up around the edge to make it pop that little red with the little berries in the background look at this one on the foil paper oh this is so lovely look at the embossing I love that that is a cool die and then this one too with the different shape again topped off with white paper so you can stamp really lovely oh little um, tonic studios tag there and very pretty thank you so much and then on this side, Diane has her large die cuts. And I mean, look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. 
I love it. I love the offset because we're always like, oh, I've had to put it right on there. But you know what? This looks really awesome offset from the uh, background piece and the beautiful leaves sticking out the back. Very pretty. And I'll open this guy up since it's mm, for me. I'll just open that up. Oh, so cute. <laughs> love the little sleigh. Ooh, let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's be careful with this guy. Look at him. All metallic and lovely. I love it. Thank you. And then this little guy, he's just going to jump over. <laughs> How cute. I love his little scarf and his little, like, um, oh, what are they? Not bridal, I guess. What? A eh, little mat. What do they call these things? I know there's a name for it. But anyhow, so cute. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. And then our beautiful piece, um, Nutcracker, which reminds me, I have this die set from Anna Griffin. I should bring it out this year. I really love this die set. It's so cute with the little ballerina and everything. I mean, look at that paper piece back in there. Just lovely, Dan. Thank you so much. And the beautiful Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. So I'm going to put this back up. And thanks for joining us again. And thanks for including one for me. And I'll be right back. I think I'm going to do this last one. And then we'll see where we go because I honestly, there's so many here and I'm still waiting for like 30 some odd to be delivered. And I still have like five or so. Maybe each set will have like 20, 25 people. I don't know. Uh, whatever makes it work, right? So uh, this will be the last one for today, I believe. So this is uh, Kathy Kendall out of Seneca, Illinois. So let's bring this guy up. Thanks so much for joining us, Kathy. I think this is her first time with us also. Oh, I don't want to hurt anything, but let me slide these out a little bit at a time. How about that? That might work better. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. She did include one for me as there are five of them here. I mean, this is gorgeous paper. Uh, is this Crafts Companion? It looks familiar. I think I have it. Very pretty stuff. <laughs> thank you so much, Kathy. Uh, let's open this guy up. And she has a beautiful card in here, I'm sure. I can feel that. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is that? I don't know if this is decoupage, because it looks like there's a couple layers, goodness, but it looks very like hand-painted, but at the same time, it looks like that's how it was. So yeah, this is gorgeous. Beautiful stuff, look at this. Oh my gosh, so lovely. Thank you, Kathy. And then her postage in the most dainty, cutest way. Oh my, oh, I love this. <laughs> Thank you, and then she left it blank so I could use that card, and I definitely will. And this is the very first swap she's ever been in. <laughs> so I hope I did everything right. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Thank you so much, and thanks for jumping in. And let's open this up. So again, gorgeous paper. Beautiful on the inside. It's double-sided paper. Her two small pockets, her larger pocket over here. So for her embellishment, she included these amazing vintage-looking uh, button topper pieces, obviously embellishment pieces. I mean, these are just gorgeous. I was just thinking right now, I was packing up um, Diane's. I'm like... I really want to impress upon you guys. Use your stuff. I know we get it and we're like, oh, this is a gift for me and you're going to keep it forever, but you should use it. And then now I'm looking at this. I'm like, oh, I'm going to hoard these. <laughs> I will never use them or give them away. No, we need to. We need to. But beautiful pockets with a little uh, die cutting on the top. That is so funny. Ugh. That is just because in my mind, I'm thinking the same thing. And then I show up here and I'm like, oh, I need to keep this. All is calm. All is bright. Just beautiful. Her stampable the labels, which are just gorgeous. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Is this Anna Griffin? It looks Anna Griffin-ish. Uh, very lovely. Again, layered up so you can stamp on that white portion. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful uh, label dies. I mean, these are just gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, can you imagine stamping that? It's kind of your focal point and then putting like some little flowers and things around it. Lovely. Thank you so much. So far, so good, Kathy. <laughs> Just joking. This is gorgeous. Look at this paper. It's all foily and lovely. Ooh, it feels so nice. And she used it here for the doily. And of course, you can use that doily again. You know, it's there perfectly ready to be used. A beautiful little angel. It might be a die cut piece or a printed and die cut. I'm not sure. But there she is. And she's gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. And then let's look at these die cuts. Again, since this is mine, I don't mind pulling these guys out. And she included... Included? Included plenty. I was gonna say plenty and it just got mixed up. <laughs> that cute little bell. I love this little bell. Thank you so much. I have one for me to play with along with these little guys here. Look at this one in vellum. It's just so lovely. And then in that silver paper. Oh my gosh. How pretty are those? You can layer, layer them together with the vellum on top. Again, I don't know if she's coloring these herself. They're print and cut. They're print and cut and use the dye because it has like the texture. Those are so cute. The little owl. He's so old school and lovely and little postcard. Oh my gosh, Kathy. These are so 
pretty. Look at this little guy. He looks like Tweety Bird. <laughs> he reminds me of Tweety Bird a little bit. Cute in his little hat and everything. We have a little traditional lantern here. Oh my gosh. You guys. Look how pretty. I love that. Again, that holographic gold paper. Just gorgeous. We have our tree. Super delicate and amazing. This Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh. On that red fo uh, matte metallic paper. And then this beautiful foil like matte metallic, or not matte metallic, sorry, metallic paper with the little bells just kind of, how pretty is that on a slim line too? Lovely. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, this has been so much fun. Part one, I didn't know what to expect because like, you know, this is the first time we've done a swap of this nature. A little bit different from my ephemera folder swaps and um, it's been really fun, really great. Uh, keep an eye out for part two. There'll probably be three parts because I don't want to keep you guys here for hours and hours and hours at a time. So I'll probably chop it up in three parts. Um, that makes sense, right? If there's roughly 70 75 there are 75 entries but like five i already know didn't make it or had to um drop out so at least 70 so probably in each video we'll have like 20 some odd uh, entries so all right guys i'll see you at the next one bye now